So Stan, did you ever have to hand wash dishes when you were a kid? Well, actually Kate, I did. Mm -hmm. I think it was some sort of rite of passage, but I kind of enjoyed it. Of course you did. I think the thing that bugged me about having to hand wash the dishes mm -hmm. is that there was a perfectly good machine right next to where I was cleaning. So were they trying to punish you or? Oh, maybe. Not that I didn't deserve it. Oh, why doesn't that surprise me? I was just always told that hand washing dishes was more energy efficient than using the dishwasher. Well, that's easy enough to say when you got child labor to do the job for you. That's what we're gonna find out today. If hand washing dishes really is more energy efficient than using the dishwasher. So, what we're really interested in here is the relative energy efficiency between hand washing dishes and using a dishwasher. Mm -hmm. So we're really only going to concern ourselves with the electrical energy used. Now, you and the viewing audience, you may have access to solar or natural gas or some other form of energy, but really, our test results should demonstrate the difference regardless of the source of the energy. Right. Oh, Kate, and I'd be interested in finding out what differences there might be between the least and most efficient dishwashers available today. What if we got our hands on a dishwasher from 10 years ago? We'll see how that stacks up. That sounds like a great idea. And we should probably try a few different ways of hand washing dishes. You know, just in case there's one that's much better than another. Yeah, I bet there will be. I'm betting you're right. Yep. So, hmm. we're gonna need some ideas about hand washing dishes, okay. some dishwashing machines, some people dishwashers, and most importantly, a lot of dirty dishes. You know who the people hand washers are gonna be, right? It's us, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. That's awesome. <laughs> but I do know where we can get our hands on a lot of dirty dishes. Sweet. Okay, Stan, do you know what is significant about this pile of dishes? Ever going to have to wash it all? Oh, that too. No. This is about the number of dishes the average family has to wash every single day. But we're still going to have to wash it all. Yeah, definitely. Great. Now, you're probably wondering how we're going to measure the energy used in each of our tests. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this water meter to the hot water line in each test. This will, of course, allow us to measure just how much hot water each test is using. Right, and then to each dishwasher, we'll attach this electricity meter, and that will keep track of exactly how much additional electricity is being used by each dishwasher in order to get the dishes clean. All right. Any bets on what might win? Well, I'm putting my money on the high efficiency dishwasher. Yeah, I think you're likely right. <laughs> Although I have to admit, being told over and over again as a kid that manual washing saves energy does make me a little bit biased towards the hand washing. Well, I guess we better get cleaning to find out. What we have here is a setup that you might find in a typical household. You mean aside from the obvious? Okay, well other than that, but for our purposes, this will work. So for the first test, we're going to put the soap directly on the sponge and leave the water running for both the soaking and the rinsing. Second, we'll be using a sink for soaking the dishes, turning on the hot water anytime we need to rinse something, and changing the soaking water if it looks like it needs it. For the final test, we'll use one sink for the soaking and one sink for the rinsing, and we'll change out the water whenever it gets dirty. That's loud. Thorough. Oh, is that what it is? Now, the setup for testing the dishwashers is going to be pretty straightforward. We've got a bunch of dirty dishes, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick scrape of the plates for any food left on them, then load them up and run the dishwashers on their normal setting. So, what are you saying? I don't need to pre wash these dishes because I gotta tell you, that never works for me. They always come out crusty. Now most modern dishwashers, including our 10-year-old model, are all designed to run without any pre-rinsing at all. But that's not to say that some dishwashers don't handle this better than others. The three we're using all handle it just fine. But you may find that you need to pre-rinse certain kinds of dishes or certain kinds of stains, again, depending upon the dishwasher you're using. But remember this, the more pre-rinsing you're doing, you might be better off just hand washing your dishes. Hey, go back. What do you mean about normal settings? Right. Okay, most dishwashers, uh, the ones we've run across anyway, all have a setting on them that's actually called normal, which is the one that we're going to be using. Now, we're going to be running our dishwashers by turning off all heat dry modes. Now, heat drying, it does speed up the cleaning cycle, 
but it's not really necessary, especially if you're not in a hurry. Okay, if you're done over there, how about you come help me now? <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> So what were the results? Okay, well, here are the results of hand washing. Wow, look at that. There is a huge difference mm -hmm. between leaving the water running and turning it on only when you need to rinse a dish. It just goes to show, a little change can make a pretty big difference. And using the two basin method mm -hmm. saves another 40%. Okay, but what about the dishwashers? All right, well, our 10-year-old dishwasher mm -hmm. used a third of the energy wow. of the constant water method. Okay, so what you're saying is if you can't break the habit of leaving the water running, maybe you should just use a dishwasher. Now that will obviously depend upon your dishwasher, but it's certainly worth a look. Okay, well, let's take a look at the newer dishwashers. All right. Well, our inefficient new dishwasher mm -hmm. certainly lived up to its title. It was only slightly more efficient than our old dishwasher. Okay, well, what about the new energy efficient dishwashers? Is that as efficient as the two basin hand wash method? It was ever so slightly less efficient. So. What have we learned? Well, we've learned that hand washing dishes can certainly be the most energy efficient way to clean your dishes if you use the two sinks okay. or a sink and a tub and fill them only about halfway. Although, dishwashers can be as efficient if you don't pre-wash and you don't use the heat dry method. Although your mileage could vary. Yeah. So, use the method that we did, the most energy efficient, and then just tweak it until your dishes come out clean. Right. Now we put everything we've learned about dishwashing up on our website, so mm -hmm. check it out. And uh, we'd also love to hear how you had to tweak what we did in order to get your dishes efficiently clean. You know, it's all well and good though. But really, I can't help but wonder something. Uh-oh, here we go. If you had to wash a whole month's worth of dishes all at one time, what would be the fastest way to do it? Hmm, I'm thinking a fire hose. <laughs> Okay, maybe, that would be fun, but really fire hoses and fire trucks, they're not set up to handle the warm soapy water. Bummer. Okay, so we need a place that has a lot of dirty dishes and big industrial sized dishwashers. You mean like a prison? <laughs> or a university campus. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not, not as exciting, but all right. <laughs> this is the dishwashing area at a local university. And this is a conveyor dishwasher. Each of these racks can hold 25 plates or 45 glasses. And this machine can do 244 racks per hour. And over here we've got 250 dirty dishes, which by the way is about what a family of four generates in a week. Okay, let's load these babies up and take this thing for a spin. Sounds good. There you have it. 250 dishes in how long? Three minutes, 37 seconds. I need one of these in my apartment. <gasps> That's bigger than your entire apartment. True. Yeah. All right, now it's your turn. We're betting that the conveyor dishwasher, as awesome as it was, very not the fastest way to get a thousand dishes clean. So, if you have an idea of a super fast way to get a thousand dishes clean, send us a video of it in action. And if you've got a burning energy efficiency question, just visit our website and email us, leave a video response, mm -hmm. or just leave your suggestion in the comments section. And if we like it, we may just do it. <laughs> that was totally fun. Oh. I want to do it again. Uh, I've had enough dishwashing to last me a couple of years. <laughs> Hopefully someone will send us something different for us to work on. Mm, that would be good.